Today, I want to talk to you about the disappointment of training for a big race. And you either have to pull out for injury or COVID or some other reason. And uh, kind of my thoughts around this, this topic. So it's a, it's a Tuesday morning. I'm getting close to the sun. It is ridiculously humid. It's like 30 degrees. The sun's not massively out. It's quite overcast, but it is so hot now. I'm running around a really beautiful... I think it's Whitlingham, Whitlingham Country Park. So it's uh, I do have water to the left of me, going around the lake, which is beautiful. So uh, it's quite therapeutic. I'll pan out in a minute. You can see the lake. So you can pass some people. Morning. But um, as it's always Tuesdays, it's always all things running. One of my favourite topics. I'm massively passionate about running what it gives to me but um those of you i'm a two, couple of weeks ahead of you on the published version so you'll be seeing this a couple of weeks behind but with this week we received news that london marathon a race that i'll be doing this will be my third year straight is uh it's cancelled and postponed not just the next april but to next october so um i've uh even say i've been training really hard for it because well i have actually <laughs> cut a long switch short it means extra for me this year because um it was the 40th race, so it was supposed to be the biggest and the best. Added to the fact that I was also going for a world record. I've talked to you about this, we'll just get past these people. One second. Morning. Sorry, it's key. <laughs> so, uh, just made that poor lady jump. Um, yeah, so this year I thought I'd set myself a different type of challenge. And the challenge was to be the fastest marathon runner, male marathon runner, dressed as a ninja. Now, um, I just need to gauge where I'm going here. I think, I don't know. I don't know, I'm going to go this way and hope for the best. One second, I'm just going past this guy. Excuse me, mate, is this the, uh, Still carry on around the lake this way, or do I have to go left? Back that way. Not really public that way. All right, lovely. Cheers. That healthy fella. I can turn right back here. So sorry about that. But yeah, so I'm running the. I was due to run London Marathon. It was all passed by Guinness World Records, and uh, I was going to be attempting to beat four hours seventeen just as an ninja. It sounds. Not too difficult if you're a sub four hour marathon runner. I'm a 338 is my PB, so you'd think I'd have it in the bag. But the issue is, is that little did I appreciate how warm and hot Ninja attire is. You also have to wear skins underneath your outfit, otherwise you get massive chafing issues. Um, added to the fact I have to run barefoot style. So you probably tan down to my feet. You can see um, split toe, barefoot style. Really, really challenging to do. So, Morning. You can see the lake up there, it's beautiful. Who wouldn't love running like this? Um, so yeah, so um, the barefoot style was, I was training since December in barefoot shoes, style shoes. And I've had five calf tests and counting. It's because your calf stretches about two to three centimetres further on every stride in barefoot style. Morning. Uh, I think I'm going, am I going right here or not? Oh, I'm at the car park here. <laughs> As I'm, normally I always struggle to, to find my route round, so I've done only four count, I'm going to do another lap, so I'm going to cut through the not so scenic car park just to carry on. Anyway, um, so. Uh, I've trained so hard for this challenge because, um, make no, 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 no illusions, I think the impact of running in clothes where you look like you know, non-running attire, where overheating is a massive issue. I ran a half marathon in, back in March to test a test run and he, he passed out the finish line. So uh, it's, overheating is a massive issue. The barefoot style as well, I, I, would, I would honestly say it's almost like an hour extra on your marathon time when you factor all these challenges I'd have to overcome. So 
not only did I take on this challenge, I've trained for the best part of eight or nine months now. And uh, I've been through lots of injuries, loads and loads of sports massives. Uh, it's been a real challenge and I've been feeling good. I've been feeling confident that I can do it. And, uh, and to have London Marathon pulled from me, um, you know, uh, the 11th hour, hour is painful. However, you have to put things in perspective and well, I'm, I'm disappointed not to run it, but more disappointed for the charities. They're going to lose out on huge amounts of sponsorship, which, which is the difference between them surviving or not. Excuse me, I'm just going to go past some people here. Morning. Big group of people here. Back. I'm going to go back the other way. Less people. <laughs> Less weird for people to look at me weirdly. Um, poor charities that some of them will end up going under because of COVID. Um, not to mention, you know, that you want to help and try and fundraise. You can't ethically ask for fundraising and people are struggling. You know, we've had to hit the highest unemployment levels for I don't know how many years. I again. <laughs> I, I, I either that or I am. <laughs> so, uh, banter with some uh, nice ladies. But, um, anyway, so, you know, feel for people that are really struggling in these tough times. So, it's, you put it in perspective and you have to pull yourself back. As much as the disappointments have been for me, you have to almost give yourself a new challenge, a new, challenge, a new focus to try and, uh, Keep yourself positive, as I've always said. Stay positive, stay happy, really, really important. And uh, so I'm, I'm challenging myself to do this vlog and run every day, which is a distraction from the disappointment of the marathon not going ahead. I'm going to run the virtual marathon. It's not the same as London, clearly, because you can do it any time on the same day, anywhere in the country. So, just check my ear plugs not going to fall out. Um, but you still get a medal, and uh, the charity I'm running for is kindly to roll over my sponsorship to to next um, next year on the proviso that I'm at a thousand pounds threshold by uh, mid-September which I'm, I'm about 400 at the moment but I should get there so um so yeah it's been so I've, I've managed to kind of distract myself and give myself a new focus I've overcome this morning and um we have to put things into perspective my new motivation is to continue fundraising but to combine fundraising side of things with supporting local businesses that would normally be struggling. So we're going to try and do some fundraising activities with my team of fellow running buddies that were due to run London with me. And we're going to try and do fundraising events, which is giving the local businesses customers well. So um, that is going to be the objective, to try and uh, really help people that we need in these testing times. Uh, well, I'm definitely going wrong again. So, <laughs> public, no public access. It's probably a message there for me. So I think I must have to go left somewhere up here. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully this puts things in perspective. It gives people a try and find a new challenge, something you can focus your mind on that will give you that positive focus. Uh, otherwise, so many people go, oh, it's cancelled and they stop running. Well, I've never stopped running. So, if I maintain a level of fitness, I'm sure I'm supposed to go here. There's... Not quite sure where I'm going. But um, yeah, some people just quit, stop running. That's the worst thing you can do because that will become even more negative when you think about all the hard work you've done to get in the shape you are in. I need to be let down. And we remember with London, we've been let down twice. Well, it feels like we've been let down. It was postponed due to lockdown in April. They pushed it back to October, and it's been cancelled in, in October. So, um, it's kind of picking yourself up and dusting yourself down. It's only when... I'm just going past this guy. Morning, mate. It's only when you've, uh, you've run a marathon before, you've done the training, you realise how much time effort goes into it. And, uh, yeah, kind of, it's eye-opening, isn't it? When you, when you do that. So I'll work out where I go. Left here. Yes, this looks like an appropriate part of money. Um, so yeah, find a new focus, find something and try and use this pandemic as a, as a positive driver and try and help people that need the help. That's where we're challenging our, challenging our attention. Um, our 
I put back my world record attempt, I may try and do it in speaking to against world records at the moment. I may try and do it virtually, um, which would be ridiculously challenging because I'd have no support or very limited support compared to the actual main event. So it's highly likely I'll put back the world record attempt till next October, where I'll postpone my I'll roll over my place. But I'll still do the, the virtual marathon in October and I'll see just if I can get a sub four hours in barefoot. I think that'll be my, my challenge that I'm going to focus on. So I hope you found this useful because there'll be a lot of people that will be feeling down and negative about running because possibly the biggest marathon in the world probably has been cancelled. And it might not be the biggest, New York's the biggest, but it's most iconic for sure. And I'm addicted to it, I absolutely love it. It's the, the closest thing you can ever feel like to being a, to being a proper athlete, a professional athlete. The support you get is just astronomical. So uh, don't give up. Keep focused and, you know, reach out to people as well. We reach out if you want to get involved in some of the stuff I'm doing. Absolutely, you can reach out. I'll try and involve people where I can. If they want to help make a difference, that's what this community is all about. So I hope you found this useful. And uh, as always, any questions, drop me a comment. I'll respond to everyone. If you think this is good value, please uh, tag the person in or share it. Um, or just like it, and it'll get some extra reach. If you're on a different channel, please subscribe. And uh, as always, stay positive, stay happy. And I'll uh, see you on the next episode. Bye.